Hello, and welcome back to another edition of MMB Airgun Review. <clears throat> well, I had some time to uh, to actually shoot the Black Ops rifle, um, chambered in .22. Um, some surprising results. It shot just as good as I thought it was going to shoot. Um, it's a very consistent gun. It has a average uh, feet per second. Um, of over a thousand so not too shabby and that was done in around 40 degree weather so not too shabby at all did have some complications along the way nothing to do with the gun per se uh, mostly to do with sighting it in um, as you know if you watch the last video we added this nice optic on top um, problem is with this particular optic optic on this gun is the scope rings are mounted too high. I need to get this scope dropped about a half an inch so I'm not uh, adjusting the um, the crosshair so much uh, to adjust down. So the shots that were fired I'd have to adjust for that in the, in the scope itself. That being said the gun was very very consistent and it was very precise depending on what ammo I was running. So as promised I'm going to give you some some results um, what we had running the uh, Predator Polymags at 16 grain, um, which I think I got a, a bad tin because the skirts of these were just so out of proportion. I couldn't keep a con consistency with those uh, pellets at all. So what I literally had to do was go through the whole tin and pull out the good ones. Once I did that um, at uh, 50 yards, I was putting... Um, putting the pellets through the same hole repeatedly. So it wasn't an issue at all. I didn't have any wind this day. This was just the uh, day before yesterday, as a matter of fact. Um, today is, I believe, the 23rd uh, of December. Now, I moved it back to 70 yards. Uh, while I was running out of the good pellets to shoot with, so I moved to the uh, something I use all the time, um, my, my go-to, the H&N the, uh, Hornets. Uh, that's a 22 caliber. That's a uh, 16 Point um, two zero grain. Um, these things are deadly accurate. They never fail me. I was hitting at seventy yards with this. Uh, I got. I tore off a piece of, piece of the paper here. I was hitting at seventy yards with this, and I got less than an inch spread at nine with nine shots at seventy yards, forty degrees. Uh, I take that back. My my date was wrong on that. That was on the twenty first. So I apologize at two thirty p.m. Um, very consistent gun at 70 yards, so it is capable. Now, your feet per second drop off dramatically, and you do have a lot of pellet drop, um, but it still does make quite a quite a hit, even at the uh, 70 yards. So I think um, reaching past that 70 yards, while it can be done and you're going to hit your target, you're going to lose a lot of velocity where it's not going to be a practical gun to use past that 70 yards. So... I'm going to call the limit on this one about 70 yards um, for this particular one. The gun fired amazingly, though, that whole time. I didn't have any malfunctions. Um, the velocity stayed relatively the same. Um, the chronometer, it was it was always right in that 998 to, uh, I think I had a high of uh, 1,028, I believe it was. Um, so... And on a 40 degree day, that's that's pretty good. So that's telling me it's gonna when the temperatures warm up, we're gonna get definitely get some more velocity out of it. Um, now there was some audible uh, sonic sonic sounds. Um, it did break the sound barrier a few times. Um, of course, anybody that knows anything about sound barrier, it has to do with atmospheric pressure and everything else. It's not an exact science speed. Uh, you don't break the sound barrier at a particular speed. There's a lot of variables involved in that. So at that 1,000, 1,050, um, with, with the barometric pressure and temperature, um, everything the way it was, it was breaking the sound barrier. And it was, uh, it was kind of loud, kind of sound. It sounded a little, little more uh, suppressed than a 22, but it, it was very audible. I'll try to throw a clip in where you can, you can hear it. Uh, we just recorded it with the cell phone real quick, so... And uh, I was just uh, doing a 50-yard shot with that one, and I think that's one of the one of the shots I was putting in through the same hole. And I think I called it attack driver because I was so impressed with this how it was shooting. That being said, 
inwards. I did give this scope, the one that came with it, um, moving the yardage in to about 30 yards with this scope. Um, the scope was very accurate, and I didn't have the, the issues as far as lining the crosshairs up as that I did with this big scope. Uh, like I said, we're going to have to put some uh, lower scope rails on this scope, and then it will be perfect. But for 30 yards, if you're shooting at 30 yards, 35 yards maybe, this is a fantastic scope, and you're going to hit you're going to hit dead on every single time, no, no doubt about that. So I have no gripes. Everything functioned great. Um... I didn't have any problems with dieseling or anything like that on the first shot, although I and I did clean my barrel out before I shot it. It's a very accurate gun. It's it's a gun that I have to recommend. Um, now we're gonna do some start some experimenting with um, with uh, different different rounds. We're gonna start using a lot of different pellets through this and see what uh, kind of accuracy. Maybe move it back a little bit with some. We're gonna experiment with some slugs in this. And uh, just just a little bit of everything. We're going to use make this, I guess, our our, our test gun, our, our go to gun, since it's in the realm that everybody can afford pretty much. And um, I think a, a general all purpose air rifle for a brake barrel. This is about as good as you're gonna you're gonna find. Uh, they did a really good job on this rifle. Um, I want to say we probably put through this you know, a couple hundred a couple hundred pellets. Maybe we used we used a full tin. Um, combined with the two so about a couple hundred pellets through it the other day and um, it pretty much was, was hitting its target pretty much every time sighting it in I got it we got it on paper um, close to the bullseye on the first shot it was was uh, it wasn't hard and then like I said though I did have the an adjustment problem to get it dead on when I shoot I want to be dead center as close as I can but my grouping as you can see this is tore off from the, from the target that we made up here but uh, this is a uh, that's less than an inch spread. That's nine shots right there, and a less than an inch spread, and that's at 70 yards right on the nose. Um, I would have tried some farther back shots with this, but we simply did not have the room um, that day to do such. But we will when we get to the regular range. We will we will definitely try that, and we'll you know just experimentation, and we'll go back as far as 100 yards and see. But I'm not expecting much, definitely when we go back that far. Um, I think 70 yards right now is the, is, is, is the sweet spot for this particular air rifle. Um, I could be wrong, maybe with some different ammo, you know, we could, we could see more. Um, now that being said, these Predator poly mags that I'm running, I, I haven't been impressed. When they first came out, I used them a lot. Um, I didn't have the problems that I do now, and it seems to be that every time I get a tin now, the, uh, the, the skirts are always damaged um and it just makes for a it's an inconsistency that's just out of this world um it's, they may be fine for your lower powered guns or if you're shooting um 30 yards or closer they may be fine for that if for what you're doing but if you're using any any more kind of power and you want to pull back definitely don't recommend those they're just uh too much quality control issues with them right now. I hope I hope they fix that because in the past they've been very good. Um, so hopefully, I don't know if the materials they're using are getting softer and they're getting bang, banged around um, during shipping. But it's uh, so out of a tin of, of 200, I want to say that maybe at max I had 50 rounds that were good after hand picking the best, you know. Um, and I did shoot some of the bad ones also and it was just so in, inconsistent. But the good ones were definitely good ones and you, they and it showed now as far as the h and n pellets the hornets those things are pinpoint accurate every single time I never have a hiccup and i mean that's that's one of the ones now um just so you know at this seventy yards that is with the hornets that is with the hornets um a lot of i think I could have tightened up that group even more um a lot of it was me just getting used to the rifle I probably could have tightened that up even more, but really decent for a first time out and uh sighting in a scope and then swapping over another scope and, but it was uh it was a fun experience and i can't wait to shoot this thing some more um i'm going to have a review coming up soon on the uh, springfield armory uh, xdm uh, 4.5 blowback um i know you guys if, if, if you ever seen it's probably one of the most realistic replica bb guns that you co2 guns that you can get um I, I know I said some. He mentioned Evike the other day in one of my videos. How I was uh, kind of 
didn't like the shipping times, but I don't know if they heard me or not, but uh, they I, I ordered it and they shipped it. It was shipped out within minutes of my purchasing it, so it should be here any day, and we'll get that review up. I'm, I'm very interested to review this, and um, the, just uh, I wanted to have one as part of, a part of my collection just for the realism of it. Uh, it's a great training tool. And it uh, functions just like the real deal, you know. It's got the blowback action slide and disassembles, and it's a, it's a beautiful. Uh, in, in my eyes, it's actually a you know art piece to me having something that's that's that close to the authentic um, handgun. So we'll take a look at that when it comes in. Um, we'll probably do an unboxing on that one if I can, and um, we'll go over that one pretty in depth also. But stay tuned. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep up with this one, and this is like I said, this is gonna be our test our test vehicle, if you will, um, for different types of ammunition. So we'll be doing some ammunition tests with this, and um, we this 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 rifle is definitely gonna be seeing a lot of use um, on up in upcoming episodes. So if you like these videos or you want to see any different content or you have any suggestions, just drop them in the comment section below. Um, please like, share, subscribe. I apologize for the quality of these videos right now. We're getting our uh, trying to get everything set up, and, and we're we're kind of raw right now. Um, everything's going to be changed here shortly, a uh, bit more professional. But uh, I kind of want to want you guys to experience maybe the growth of the channel together. Jump on board, jump on board early, and uh, you can see it progress. I don't edit anything like this, and we, we I, I go raw. So when you hear me speak. It's um, it's basically right then and there. So hopefully um, you enjoy that type of, of content where it's a little bit raw and maybe uh, unfiltered. So thank you so much and have a great day. We'll see you soon. All right, we're left target down bottom.